welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to deal with unknown feature of google ads some experts only they have command over this google script saurabh sir is with us he is now going to give a simplify meaning of google script sir what are google scripts i tell you you know if you are a business owner it's very important uh, that uh, if you are looking for lead generation it becomes very important for you to start with search campaign Now, I've been doing search campaign for last ten, twelve years, and I'm a huge, huge fan of Google Ads. And I can tell you that uh, when you use Google Ads, Google Ads has got a lot of, lot of features. And one of the feature which I really love yes. is known as Google Ads scripts. Okay. Okay. So uh, possibly why we should be using Google Ads scripts? Because I can tell you there are a lot of reasons why you should be using it. So the number one is you know when you spend a lot of money, uh, when you have a big budget, you know it's Become very tedious to work on ad groups, correct? Or optimizing yes. your ad copy or a landing page, correct? And with the help of Google Ad scripts, we can do lot of lot of tasks in a very easy manner. So not many people know about Google Google scripts. Even the experts, they have hardly some information about the Google scripts. Yes. Sir, how this helps in so, running business? Okay, so I'll tell you one thing is uh, which is important. Google Ad. script these are java scripts okay you know that works with google ads okay and what this script does is like they get the data from google ads and they give us lot of lot of reportings now you can always create google ads script by yourself or there are lot of tools which can help you to create google ads scripts now before we talk about you know why we should be using google ads script let's see the importance of using google ads okay script. okay so number one is it saves lot of time okay so let's say for example if you are promoting let's say A ten products and ten ad groups, and let's say every ad group is having ten twenty keywords. Yes, it becomes very tedious to optimize campaign oh. because I will tell you when you run campaign, it's not about starting a campaign; it's all about optimizing a campaign. Sir, so what I understood is Google scripts are basically the script that we use in ad, Google right? Ads. Google, Google ads, ads. Yes. whatever we see, whatever yes. the writer heading, that is all called Google no, scripts. It's not okay. like that. Okay. It helps us to you know optimize campaign. Okay. It saves a lot of time. For example, let's say if I am having ten ad groups and hundred keywords. Okay. So there are a lot of ways to optimize campaign. And just oh. to give you an example, let's say I I don't want to run uh, you know keywords which are having quality score less than five. Okay. Now it becomes very tedious because if you are doing manual activity, it becomes very tedious to find keywords which are having low quality score. Okay. Uh, let's say less than five or less than four because I don't want to start campaign on those keywords because okay. those keywords probably are not bringing value. Correct. So probably there might be issue with the keyword or ad on landing page. Okay. And the user experience is not good, and that's why we want to stop those keywords. Okay. Because we might be wasting a lot of money on those keywords. Once okay. I get to know that they have a poor quality score. Okay. Now think of a situation when you are doing this task manually. So what you have to do is you have to go to keyword, you have to use filters, and then you're going to stop those keywords. Okay. But I'll tell you, a single snippet of code can do this job automatically. Okay. Without. You getting into the picture. Ah, uh, now and this Google script is a program that helps yes. us that our ad should not run on the low performing keywords. Keyword. This is just okay. an example. There are okay. a lot of scripts. Okay. I can tell you there there okay. are hundreds of scripts that you can okay. use. Okay. So this is for automation. So um. when we talk about you know Google Ads automation, hmm. so normally like uh, uh, if you are having a big budget, if you are hmm. having uh, you know a lot of ad groups, if you have got a lot of keywords in it. And you are using dynamic ads, for example. You might hmm. be using. You you might be want to use Google Ads. Okay. Scripts. Okay. So this is one example. There are a lot of lot of ad scripts that you can find it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say, for example, uh, number one, which I love is, uh, you know, which is keyword having low quality score because this is one very important KPI which I want to okay. optimize it for Google Ads. Okay. Number two, let's say, for example, I want to find keywords which are having not at all having any impressions. Okay. So let's say, okay. Okay, so probably if you are working on keyword research. Google gives you, you know, uh, the monthly search report and all. Yes. But still, I want to look into which are the keywords which are not getting any impressions. Then ah. I need to look into mm. why they are not mm. getting impressions. Okay. So I can tell, I can have the script on my Google Ads which can show me keywords which are having zero zero impressions. Okay. Number three is so if I talk about you know entire Google Ads scripts, number one ad script, some of the ad scripts going to help you to get the reports. Okay. For example, if you want to automate that. Okay, whatever daily spends I'm doing it across my campaign, let it be YouTube or let it be retargeting campaign or search or shopping campaigns. I want to have reports, so Google Ads script will send me reports automatically. Okay. So one okay. part is the reporting part. Okay. So let's say for example, one of the script which I love, which is seeing uh, you know Google campaign by by spends on time basis. Yes. Because okay. Because let's say for example, okay. if I'm running a campaign for 24 hours, mm -hmm. I just want to see uh, when I'm getting good conversions, when I'm getting good clicks. Correct. And this heat map ad script will help you to identify the most uh, important time. 
So analytics parts also absolutely, comes under yes. the Google script. Uh, absolutely, okay. yes. Okay, okay. So, so this is what I use on frequent basis. Hmm. Next year, let's say for example, I want to find which expandable ads. So expandable ads are not working, hmm. very sorry. Hmm. So which 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 ads are working. Hmm. So you can okay. also tell to Google, okay, uh, show me the ads or tell me ads which are not performing. Okay. So let's say for okay. example, we can set up a CTR. Let's say a campaign having a CTR or ad having a CTR which is less than 5%. Show me those and stop those ah, automatically. And ah. what the software will do is they will stop it immediately. Okay. okay. So th this is second, which is you can optimize your ad. You can also optimize your landing pages as well. So let's say okay. what happens, you know, when we promote e-commerce, we're gonna have a lot of landing pages. Yes. So yes. probably, you know, what happens if you're running a campaign and by any chance, if you get to know that some of the links are not working. Correct. It's really difficult to identify, you know, because Correct. because what happens is when you get into Google and dashboard, Google gonna show you. Look, these are the landing pages which are not working yes. or probably URL are broken. And what we can do with the help of this Google Ads script, okay. Google will automatically tell me that yes. okay, these are ad groups, these are 100 landing pages which I'm using as of now and out of 100, 10 landing pages are not working. Yes. So I can respond quicker. Okay. So this saves a lot okay. of time. Okay. I can also tell Google Ads scripts that okay, show me uh, campaigns which are spending the most. Okay. So I, I, I can get to know, let's say for example, if I'm having promoting 10 products or let's say I want to spend equal money yeah, across okay. all these campaigns. campaigns. I just want to make sure which campaign is not having spends oh. and which campaign is having maximum spends. So I can trigger those scripts okay. as well. Okay. So correcting error, Google, Google scripts, it, yes. yes. Which landing page is not working, why yes. it's not working, yes. correcting those. Yes. Uh, which ad group has high expenses, which Very ad good. group has Very least good. expenses. Yes. So that I can monitor on my you know, finance part. Very true, very true. It means we can set Google Ads scripts and we can monitor ad group performance. Correct. We can monitor landing group performance and Correct. we can also monitor keyword performance as well. Yes, okay. So this okay. is important. So mainly, let's say if you have 100 rupees, 200, 200 rupees of budget a day, you have one campaign probably, uh, you know, it's very important that you still optimize it. Yes. But yes. I can tell you if one click is costing 20 rupees, it's all about 10 clicks. Yes. So probably, yes. you know, for small campaigns, Google Ads scripts, people does not use it. And this is one of the reasons, you know, why people are not aware about it. Ah, Google correct. But correct. it's we as a company, we as an agency, we run a lot of campaign and it's become very important part that, you know, if someone is doing manually, uh, we can we can do automate a lot of, lot of things. It's coming from Google Ads only, you can go to, okay. you know, audiences, scripts. There's a pure column yes. uh, where you can use it. Scripts. Yes. So and scripts can be used for optimizing it. Hmm. Scripts can be used for reporting, reporting. as well. Yes. Scripts can help you to do forecasting as yes, well. Okay. So a lot of things can be done. I can tell you there are a lot of references. Uh, let's say Clixies, uh, Clixies, they do have this functionality, I guess. Okay. Add Zuma, they do have a list of uh, Java scripts. Okay. So the point is, you know, challenge comes is if you want to create some scripts, are you going to do it? Yes. So there are some predefined scripts which are available in Google Ads uh -huh. or with the help of tools like Add Zuma. Mm -hmm. Add Zuma, they do have collection a lot of scripts. So okay. what you have to do is you just go to Add Zuma, take their okay. free uh, plan yes. or trial plan. Okay. And they do have optional ad scripts and you can set conditions. Correct. If this happened, this should happen. Okay. If, if my landing page is not performing, Yes. Or if the link is broken, please stop that. Okay. Let's say if my keywords are not performing, please pause those keywords. Okay. Let's say for example, another very important, you know, the, the use case of, you know, scripts that I use uh, most often is bid modifiers. Mm -hmm. Now, what are bid modifiers is, you know, when we run a campaign, we really want to optimize it. And there are okay. a lot of ways to optimize it. Okay. So let's say for example, if I'm getting more conversions from mobile device, okay. I want to show my ads aggressively on mobile device. Yes. Or let's say if I'm not getting any let's say conversion from tablet mm -hmm. or a desktop, I mm -hmm. want to stop. I want yes. to spend less on desktop or uh, let's say a tablet, but mm -hmm. I want to spend more on a mobile device. So I can, I can set a rule in Google Ads script saying Google, okay, Google, if I'm getting more conversion from mobile, increase my bid by 20% okay. or 30%. Okay. So you can do all these kind of automations. Then sir, one question arises, for example, as a business owner, I know I might not be good at computers, right? Those uh, Java scripting, uh, Python, uh, those things are not my cup of tea, right? Uh, so now what should, how, how should I use those Google scripts on my see, website or the landing page? See, but one thing is very important, Google Ads scripts, you know, you can create it within the Google Ads dashboard. Okay. And number two is before you start Google Ads script, probably you should have a very good idea of Google Ads. Okay. So probably okay. this is not something that you get the book and you start doing it because okay. it's all about strategy, it's all about conditions, it's okay. all about the okay. nature of campaign you are running as of now. So if you are thinking, you know, someone is very new to Google Ads, straight away jump into Google Ads, I find it difficult. Okay. It's not just about setting conditions because okay. when even when you go to Google Ads, I'm not sure if uh, people know this fact, 
that we can have we are having a lot of lot of kpis we're going to have a lot of lot of dimensions yes. and matrices in google yes. dashboard for example yes. there are a lot of filters correct so the point is do you have an idea of all these conditions okay. do you have a better yes. idea of optimizing your google okay experience? okay if you know the basics if you know strategically if you know how you want to do forecasting and if you can identify kpis and matrices then it becomes very easy for you but then those java scripts needs to be uploaded on each website page sir no no it's not uploaded on the website okay. it's not there is nothing to do with the website and all. okay okay it's all there see we have data in google ads okay so it's a, when we run a campaign where the data goes so data goes to google ads dash yes next is if you are running a, a let's say landing page campaign or a lead generation campaign probably you want people to click on your ad and they want you want them to reach to landing page Correct. so data is there with google analytics okay the point is what we do is we try to optimize things that is happening within okay. the google ads dashboard okay so let's okay. for example even if your landing page is not performing well probably your quality score will surely gone up yes down. and the yes. point is if you talk about you know how you going to measure landing page let's say number one is which is the quality score of that keyword okay. so what we want to do is we want to look into which keyword is associated with which ad group okay. and which ad Which ad and then which ad is associated with landing page? Okay. Number one. So we need to understand, you know, uh, quality score next, which is landing page experience. Yes. So Google yes. shows you, you know, above average, below average, average or you know, uh, below, below average. average. So so even something goes wrong with the landing page, Google oh, tells sure. you that as well. Yes. But it's yes. again highly highly recommended that when you optimize a campaign, you must be looking into your Google Ads okay. data as well because okay. a lot of details are there with Google Ads, but there are a lot of details which are not still available with Google Ads, which is Always, always okay. have to with the third party. So, okay. if you're someone you know you want to scale campaign, if you really want to optimize, I think one of the skills that you must have is using Google Ads scripts. Yes. Ah, uh, probably you know you can you can make some scripts. There are some commonly used scripts. Okay. Which quality score you you must look into quality score, which is important. Huh. Or let's say for example, if you're running a campaign, if you plan a campaign, you should have a better idea. Correct. Like how much amount of money you're gonna spend? Correct. Ah, uh, you must have a very good idea of bidding bidding methods. There are a lot of Correct. bidding methods coming in. Correct. Google Ads. is doing a lot of changes uh, from last so many years we've seen when it comes to bidding methods correct so the point is if you want to optimize it and if you're running a big campaign if you have a lot of ad groups a lot of keywords so probably yes someone into e-commerce and promoting a lot of products they they must have a good idea of uh, google ads and uh, sir which tools scripts. are there that can help us you know through google uh, scripts see number one is uh, you know uh, you can go to google and you can search you know top google ads most used scripts okay uh, so yes you find lot of lot of links coming from uh, you might find a very good good blog coming from clicksees okay which is you know a tool which helps you to avoid fraud clicks so there are a okay. lot of fraud clicks in okay. when clicks happens yes. on google yes and okay. i can tell you that the kind of spends we have monthly on google ads You know, twenty, thirty percent are fraud clicks. Twenty, okay. twenty-five percent. Okay. What I have observed with my campaign. Okay. Uh, so this is important. So you can go to the blogs, uh, and you can find a lot of scripts. Okay. Number two is you can also use Ad Zuma. Okay. Uh, I was using it previously, but now we do have different software, so you can use Ad Zuma. Um, they do have pre-built-in scripts. Okay. Just connect Ad Zuma with your Google Ads. And you can always work on it. Okay. So Ad Zuma, okay. there are a lot of tools again which okay. can help you to build scripts. Okay. And there are ready-made scripts available in Google Ads library as well. Okay. So Google Ads library, if you go to Google Ads library, you find a lot of lot of scripts. You just need to set conditions. Correct. You just need to understand how it works. Correct. So I'll tell you, Google Ads scripts, we, we use it because we want to optimize it. So someone who is not aware about Google Ads. someone who is not on a campaign it's very difficult for them to, to optimize understand. correct and the point is they're not investing in google ads why they should be learning correct automation. correct so this was someone into google ads because you see when you talk about google ads when you talk about db360 uh, which is again an uh, you know a version of google ads which is widely used by agencies not a, a publicly accessible software or tool so it's very important that if you're into a uh, google ads for running google ads last 2 3 years i want to tell you that get into ads scripts because okay uh, ads scripts can save a lot of time okay and uh, there are a lot of lot of amazing scripts which are yes. available which can help you to optimize campaign for example it's a reporting but a lot of people i've seen they do have a lot of big issues when it comes to reporting reporting yes and i'll tell you there are some amazing some very good scripts which are available okay you incorporate incorporate with google ads and google okay. ads will show you Uh, a very professional report okay we'll see the data okay. a lot of things can be done true thank you so much sir for yes. such a technical you know update knowledge yes. so yes. all of those who are working in google ads especially for them if you want to have any question on google script how to do it what are advantages how to optimize your campaign please connect with saurabh yes, sir yes and please do comment in chat so that i can share you some amazing scripts 
Correct. Which, you know, as a company, go to any company uh, 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 or professional agencies who are into Google Ads, they might be using such kind of scripts only. So put in comment and I'll surely reply back. I'll send you some, uh, you know, scripts. And I, I wish you all the best. I want all of you to take your Google Ads to the next level. Next level. Thank you so much for joining Fine, us. Fine, please Thank do you. like, comment and share. Probably this video will surely help professionals out there in Google Ads. Yes, surely. Thank sir. you so much. Thank you. Stay.